Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. I'd like to say it's a homemade equation. I know some folks kind of find it funny, but uh, it's a homemade equation. Anyways, these equations are, by the way, easy to make. I've made quite a few of these and hopefully we'll share with you over time. And anyways, let's get started. So we have x to the power square root of log x equals 10 to the power 8, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, but this is going to be a short video. So let's get started. My first method involves what is something that is, you know, something commonly used. I'm going to log both sides. And log is basically base 10 here. When it's, right, when it's not written, it's usually base 10. And obviously the motivation is we have a base 10 here, so it makes sense. Now we can go ahead and move this to the front. This is a power or exponent. We can go ahead and move it here and write this as square root of log x multiplied by log x. And then we can move the 8 as well. But log 10 is 1, so this becomes 8. So in other words, log is used for finding the exponent. So when you log 10 to the 8th, you're basically looking at the exponent, which is 8, because they have the same base. Great. So now. We have something that should be familiar on the left-hand side, uh, something multiplied by its square root. So I can write this as log x to the power 3 halves, because square root of log x can be written as log x to the power 1 half, and 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 halves. And this is equal to 8. Nice. we got to remember that x needs to be positive here, because we're talking about the logarithm of x, so that is going to be our domain. Let's go ahead and find x from here. How do we find it? First of all, we have a power on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Why don't we just go ahead and take this power and raise it to another power, which is going to be 2 thirds, and do the same thing on the right-hand side. Now, when you multiply a power by another power, or when you raise a power to another power, these two are multiplied, and their product is 1. And from here, we get the following. Log x equals 8 to the power 2 thirds. But 8 can be written as 2 to the third power. Therefore, we can go ahead and simplify this further. The 3 is going to be canceled out multi when multiplied by 2 thirds. And we're going to end up with log x equals 2 to the power 2, which can be written as 4. So log x equals 4. What about x? But by using the definition of logarithm, since the base is 10 and it's not written most of the time, we can use the definition which tells us x equals 10 to the fourth power. Awesome. So x can also be written as 10,000. And let's go ahead and talk about the second method. My second method is very similar to the first method because we're solving the same problem. But it's kind of different too. How? We're going to use substitution. And substitution is fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this confusing expression and call it something. How about calling that u? So now we called log x, square root of log x equals u. This implies log x equals u squared. Obviously, we have to be careful here. x needs to be positive and log x needs to be positive, which means x needs to be greater than 1. Okay, great. Under those conditions, we're going to solve for x. Now, how do we solve for x, though? Well, you replace square root of log x with u. You got this. So what about x? By using the definition of logs, again, x can be written as 10 to the power u squared. Now, let's go ahead and replace x with 10 to the power u squared and square root of log x with u and set it equal to 10 to the 8th power. And this gives us something real nice. 10 to the power u cubed equals 10 to the power 8, which implies u cubed, u cubed equals 8, which implies u equals 2. So happy birthday to u if it's your birthday. So u equals 2 is not what we're looking for, though, because u is what? Square root of log x. So that is equal to 2, which means log x is equal to 4 which means x is equal to 10 to the fourth power. And 
This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.